This next one was. Have sent I ever told you the story that Bobby Fulton was telling me again just a couple of days ago about the mighty Igor? I'm not sure. I don't remember a mighty Igor story. Because this came up while we were talking on the phone. You know, a lot of times it's been in the books. Owen Hart, Mick Foley, they were very stingy on the road. Didn't like to spend money. Liked to ride with fans, stay with friends. Didn't spend a lot of money. They are amateurs next to the mighty Igor, who remember back in the 60s and 70s, the, the bigger model cars, the full-size cars like the Cadillacs, the Lincolns, they were fucking giant. They were huge. Bobby Eaton in 1984 had a, like a 1976 Lincoln. We called it the USS Alabama. You almost had to pay two parking meters. And the fucking trunks were huge and wide. So you get four big wrestlers and all of their bags and a cooler of beer and all this stuff in these cars. The mighty Igor had a way to save money while he was traveling on the road. He had one of those big cars. It's not like he was driving a you know forty thousand dollar brand new Lincoln. You get one of those old Lincolns. You put one hundred fifty thousand miles a year on him. He put a mattress in his trunk, and he after a show he would drive to the next town, and he would drive to the building, and he'd go around back, or he'd go in a corner, he'd pull in behind the dumpster wherever a quiet spot was, and he would fucking he everybody knew who he was, but they wouldn't see him because he wouldn't be sleeping in his car. He'd be sleeping in his trunk. That's and he'd crazy. set his little alarm clock and had no hotel <laughs> money whatsoever. He'd go in the building early. He'd shower. He'd eat at the concession stand and he'd go on and he would sleep in his trunk. That's dedication. That's amazing. I wonder how Ivan Putsky copied that. I don't think he copied it like that. Ivan Putsky I copied Mighty Igor and then there was Igor Putsky. Oh, that, that was Ricky Ferrara. <laughs> <laughs> Igor Putsky was Ricky Ferrara. He was he was French. I think he was French Canadian, but he was French. But he he owned a gym in Pineville, Louisiana. By the time that we got there, but he had been a a wrestler in the seventies, and then he switched to refereeing for for Watts and Mid South Wrestling. And he was just on the way out when we got there. He refereed some of our matches, and then he left the business. They brought Carl Fergie in as a referee. Ferrara became the full time gym owner. But but yes, Igor Putsky, the fucking the the Polish Russian was really a French Canadian. Was Johnny Martinez still refereeing when you got there? Johnny Martinez. He was a Mid South referee in the later part of 1983. I remember a young Hispanic kid, but it, that wasn't his name. Tony Torres. No, Tony Torres was a wrestler, different guy. He refereed a little bit too, I believe. At when, at, at at that point. I don't know. Maybe I'm, uh, but I don't remember Martinez. There's a change in referees because Alfred Neely was the longtime referee and then he's gone. I never met Alfred Neely. What bumps he took? Oh, he took amazing bumps. Too um, often, not, maybe. Well, not, yeah, he, uh, you looked at him crossways, he'd fly across the ring, but it wasn't <laughs> like um, wrestling bumps. It was like real, you know, dangerous looking bumps when, you, when a guy would grab him and throw him, he'd fucking go. And, but he was gone by then. We had uh, Ronnie West w came in that year. We had originally Ricky Ferrara was there. Um, oh, goddamn. Carl Fergie came in very, very soon afterwards. There was Pee Wee Anderson, who was already there because of JYD. Did you ever have Jerry Usher? Uh, never. Nope. Jerry Usher never worked with Usher either. He was like the Bronco of Mid South for a while there. Yes, he had he had retired before we got there, and then Ronnie West was so incredible. He came in that summer, and he was just in, insanely good as a referee. You just missed by a few months the brief run of referee Joel Armstrong. Was that Joel Watts? Joel Watts is a referee. <laughs> yeah. You just missed it. Thank goodness. I don't know if my ears could have stood that much screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Joel was doing the fucking videos and the TV work. One day, Watts said, Joel, you blithering idiot. We could hear it all the way from the babyface side. 